we're here, out here at Smiley Creek in Idaho talking about backcountry safety and with a lot of what we've all been a part of is growing the and sharing our love for aviation and backcountry aviation has been a huge part of it. We talked a lot about safety and, and how to be prepared for the backcountry experience and we kind of network and meet each other and maybe form this informal group because I think I heard from just about everyone in here on a different accident that somebody would send me videos and say, hey, did you see this or did you see that? So the fact that we can collaborate on that I think is a powerful thing. So that's, that's what I'm hoping we come out of this is a way that we can take some actions collectively, keep in touch and message with each other and figure out how we can do this longer term. Gosh, we've got the Idaho Department of Backcountry, we've got Montana, we've got the Colorado, we've got the Montana Pilots Association, a couple members here from Flying Cowboys. Uh, I think today's meeting was a great opportunity to take a lot of shared experience between the different uh, communities in backcountry aviation, uh, different influencers uh, throughout our little niche of general aviation and come together to figure out how we as backcountry pilots can be better and how we can advocate for other pilots to be better as well. I've been flying out here for more than 25 years in Super Cubs, Huskies, and 1A185s. And it is truly a, a blessing that we have this access and this uniqueness and landscape. And, and, you know, I can't think of a better place to play, you know, with an airplane. And one of the many reasons that we want to improve safety in the backcountry, I think, is all the reasons you guys mentioned. It's bringing the right people in. We want to save lives in airplanes. We also would like to reduce some costs. You know, and this kind of cracking up airplanes in the backcountry drives up insurance rates for everybody. The collective uh, agreement from all of us is that we need to be more proactive and we need to make sure that people are prepared when they come to fly in the backcountry. Whether they fly in the backcountry or their local airport, we came to the, the common denominator of power and energy management needs to be practiced and uh, we came back with this buzzword of are you prepared uh, for that experience that you're about to take and really a good experience comes with good preparation if you're not prepared odds are that experience isn't gonna be what you're looking for hopefully through all this we're gonna be able to come up with a, a plan or some sort of strategy of how to integrate good experiences and, and in, in doing that a, a lot more safety or a little bit more safety to try to keep growing the love of, of the backcountry and keep protecting our backcountry strips and do it in a safe manner.